What's poppin' my peeps? How's it going? I got a monitor. I got a mon I'm using a monitor. I got a monitor guy thing for the vlog. Well, for just everything in general, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try and use it for the vlog because I don't have a flip LCD screen. Making sure I'm in focus is is important, and then also framing, making sure that my head is at the top of the frame rather than being like Wah, like this. I keep looking up here. That's this is gonna be a bad habit. We gotta not do that. You guys remember those coffee beans that fell all over the place? Well, I put them in a little thing, so now my office smells good. I'm really stoked because, I, as you can see, I already opened the package. So, uh, yeah, I got some of my photos printed. What? Look at that. Look at that. This is a recent one I took. Bash Bish. So dope. Of course, you gotta do Banff. That's up at the glaciers above uh, Lake Louise. A little Mexico, you know, a little Mexico guy. I don't know, I just, I just really like this photo. So, this is just in Western Mass. It's autumn, fall, this will probably stay in here. These are gonna be sprinkled throughout the entire apartment. I wasn't gonna print this one, but Jen really liked it. I took this photo yesterday on the GoPro. If you didn't see that video, go check it out. Um, yeah, I took this on the GoPro yesterday, and she's like, I really like this picture. So, <laughs> printed it for her, and then um, I re-edited this one for her, because to be completely honest, she actually doesn't really like how I edit my photos, because she thinks that they don't look realistic. They look too moody for her. So I re-edited this one from Vancouver. Oh, yeah. A couple more, a couple more. We got, this is from Montreal. The squirrel guy. Yeah. All these pictures, I'm pretty sure all these pictures are on my Instagram. So if you guys want to follow me, you can do that. Of course, Lake Louise. You know, little Lake Louise and Banff. It's like my favorite place on earth. These look so sick. So sick. And then a little bear from Yellowstone. You know? Gotta do it! Gotta do it! Frame these guys up, hang them up, get it going. I also got a rug for the office. So, maybe that will fix the echo, who knows? I mean, it's probably still that. I got that sound blanket going up there. Woo! Time lapse! Home to the mountain So stoked on how these came out like just the fact that I can hold a picture that I took in my hand That's that's crazy, especially nowadays, you know so much of what we consume is electronic or on the internet You know I have printed some of my photos before but I've never printed them for myself just to hang up and have and just kind of like Appreciate the fact that I can look at this photo back here and know that I took that, like I created that photo. And now, rather than looking on my phone or my computer or Instagram or the internet or wherever I posted this photo, now it's hanging up in my office and I can look at it whenever I want. For me, it just makes me appreciate photography that much more. With this experience, I really think that it's something that every photographer should do at some point in their lives. Take some of your favorite photos and just print them. So stoked on how they came out. Like, they look so good. They look so sick. I was maybe considering putting some prints up for sale. I don't know. Would you guys be interested in that if I sold some of my prints? Leave a comment down below, let me know. But with that being said, I think I'm gonna close this video out because I'm gonna go watch Ink Masters because Jen got me hooked on that show. It's banging, it really is banging. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button. Leave a comment down below if you wanna print. Definitely leave a comment down below. I mean, that, that'd be super dope. But uh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. Ring that bell and we'll see you soon. Peace. I don't know what I'm, I, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> See you guys later.